Percival, if I may ask, what are you looking at from a place like this? I see the city. Well, yes, I can see that. Is there something there? The lights. The lights? Points of warmth shining in the cold, hushed darkness, signifying life. Each of them the mark of a human soul living its life in this city. And yet, how many of those lives can be happy ones? Percival, the things you say sound almost like poetry sometimes. I, a poet? I merely state what I see before me. I do not mean to sound cryptic. Why is it you refuse to kill? A fitting question. Rather than strike down the wicked, I prefer to strike down the wickedness in their hearts. As such, though I do not take the lives of men, it is not out of mercy or compassion. Rather, death is too easy a way out. Way out? To strike down an evildoer is to take their life as payment for their sins, yes. But I do not feel sins can be paid for so easily. To carry on living and atoning, as penance, it is more fitting than death. That is why I do it, because I believe sins should be atoned for. Living is harder than dying. Truly you are a poet, Percival. Oh, I am no poet. I am but one blade. I hope you'll join me in cutting down evildoers when the time comes. Why do you help people? A difficult question. To make the world a better place, that would be an easy answer to give. But I do not pursue such lofty goals. Why would you do it then? Saving people, just like that time recently. Many would claim all people are equal, but it does not seem that way to me. The rules that govern this world are still unjust and crooked. The weak are abused by the strong, who bend morality and law to evil ends. I find such acts distasteful, so I prefer to side with those in need. It is as simple as that. In other words, you guard the weak against the strong. That stance agrees with me. I look forward to the work we'll do. <laughs> that means a lot. It's thanks to you that I can continue walking my path. So I thank you, my driver. I will be counting on you.